Shout out to G-Man Boxing. Alright people, it's official. It's on. April 23rd, Wembley Stadium. A fight that I would have... Look, Undisputed would have been amazing. But this is a good fight. Tyson Fury, Dillian White. Dillian White finally gets his crack at a world title shot. It seemed kind of a, a world away at one stage. But after Dillian White signed his end of the contract. Was Monday night slash Tuesday morning our time. Was when that was officially signed on the dotted line. Dillian White was going ahead with this. I did say in mid week report that the WBC were saying that there could be like one or two like admin kind of issues but i kind of said that probably get rectified and here we are wembley stadium april 23rd bt sport pay-per-view i like this fight i really like this fight you know i've seen so many people and some of them very abrasive and saying tyson fury is gonna dominate dylan white and people who think otherwise they really don't know what they're talking about to which i say no this is going to be a very competitive fight. This is going to be a good fight. I will pick Tyson Fury to win the fight. I think Tyson Fury is just, he's more coordinated. I think, now, here's the thing, right? I genuinely think for this fight, Tyson Fury would be well advised to come in lighter than he did against Wilder. Because I think he'll need his feet in this fight. I think he'll need to move in parts in this fight. I think he'll need to frustrate Dylan White in parts in this fight. And I think that there's a time and a place to get on the front foot and try and walk Dylan White down Deontay, like he did against Deontay Wilder. But it's not going to be the whole fight. You know, even against Wilder in the, re in the trilogy fight, say he got dropped twice by right hands and was lucky to miss a few others. Against Dylan White, Dylan White is happier in the pocket than Deontay Wilder. Dylan, I think Tyson Fury is going to win this fight because Dylan White, his defense is not exactly the best. His feet aren't the quickest. Um, Tyson Fury's feet aren't... I don't... The more I think of it, the more I look at him, the more I see the last few fights, I don't think they're what they use. But I don't think it's the same energy levels that he had pre-Klitschko. Having said that, he's still the better fighter of the two, in my opinion. However, Dylan White, there's one thing about Dylan White that I think we're maybe overlooking in a slight way in terms of how big a factor this could play. Dylan White, come the time he gets in the ring, will have been out of the ring for over a year, which is, I want to, by his standards, Dylan White's an active fighter. And I think that would be the longest stretch of inactivity he's had since the ban back in, was it 2012 to 2014 and around then? So that, I think this will be his longest stretch of inactivity. How will that affect him? Will it affect him negatively? We don't know. And interestingly, right, when he got knocked out badly by Pavek in a fight camp, in 2020 the question i had and a lot of others had was how will his punch resistance be moving forward now in the rematch with pavekin well we didn't know because he never got close to being tagged by pavekin tyson fury best believe is going to hit dylan white on the chin and tyson fury he may not be the one punch counter puncher that pavekin is he may not have and pavekin is a big tremendous puncher but tyson fury is a very heavy-handed fighter too when he wants to be and do I think Tyson, I think both guys can hurt one another. It wouldn't surprise me to see both of them on the canvas at some point. Or at least both guys have a crisis. So that's the thing about Dylan White that I'm really interested in. How is the punch resistance going to be? Because for me, a lot of others have said the same. After the AJ loss, it did weigh in. He was getting hurt more frequently. Because look at how many shots he took early on against AJ. And he just walked through them. Obviously, he walked through them. But he took them you know better than he did shots subsequently that didn't look as hard it looked a little bit more innocuous and having a knockout like that not being tagged in the rematch you got to wonder how is the punch resistance going to be it's just a query i have it's just interesting the fury white fight it's going to be interesting like these guys have sparred together many years ago dylan white claimed he dropped fury several times i think that was in 2012 2011 in around that time and fury's never you know said that that didn't happen he's kind of laughed it off but he's never flat out denied it so i think that this fight is going to be fantastic i definitely gonna try and get over for it in fact i will i'm definitely gonna try and get i'll put it like that i'm definitely gonna try and get over for it if i can't then we'll definitely do a live watch along but i will definitely try and get over for that fight it's a fight i want to see 
it be another fish-sized cart that I'll have to go to, and, you know, if I want to try and get media, I'm sure as hell not being too complimentary of them, but, hey, you know, it's what it is. If I can't, so be it, I'll just watch it here, and I'll do a watch-along, but either way, it's a great fight. I'm happy about this. It's a fight that the heavy... The heavyweight division needs fights. It needs undisputed, yes, but it needs these big fights. It needs these top guys to fight one another. It does. Because, God almighty... How frustrating is it when... Look at Filip Hergovic. He's fighting... What's the guy's name? Zili Zhang as an IBF eliminator because of all the you-know-what. Now, I know the Tony Yoka thing is not necessarily... That's not... That's just a kind of an oversight on kind of Team Yoka's behalf with the Bacoli thing. But we, we're not getting, for the most part... Like, last year, we could have had fights. We didn't get them. And, you know, it's, the, it's been the same. But hopefully now it's the start of something. The Fury Wilder situation, that's gone. The AJ Usyk situation, that will more than likely be gone... Either way, I would imagine, after AJ and Usyk have their rematch, and hopefully then we will get to see more. Hopefully, Usyk and Joshua made the best man win, go on and face the winner of this fight, undisputed, and there's other good fights to be made. Hopefully, this is the start of things to come for the heavyweight division. I'm happy about this fight. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I'll talk to you, lads and lassies. Have a good one. Peace.